Wow. Wow, 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 huh? Yeah, the action just keeps coming. This is awesome. Skills, desire, outstanding fitness that we're seeing from everybody tonight, and great support by the fans. Oh, look at this place. It's going nuts. You can't have a sport without fans. And making his way down the ramp here at a renegade MMA is Eddie Cisneros. Let's not forget, folks, this is AVM9, Army versus Marines, the biggest show of the year every year. The action has been unstoppable tonight, Sam. I know that we've had to take our catch our breath. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Gloves taking on Eddie Cisneros with the white gloves. With some big boys in there, huh? Yeah, starting off strong right away. We're seeing each one take a little offense, other one put their hands up and coming back. Really both looking for that power. I think it's no different uh, even at this weight that uh, going to that body. Absolutely. We see Hernandez hit that body. That was good. I'd like to see more of it, especially when uh, Cineros is backing up. He's holding a good high yeah. defense. Yeah. That body's wide open. And nice. It's a shorter good distance. right hand to the body. Yep, absolutely. Again it's a shorter Hernandez. distance, and it's setting up the headshots like you talked about earlier. Absolutely. Good job by Eddie reversing that corner, getting himself out and putting his opponent in there. Two big, strong guys in there, that's for sure. Good digging good. body shots right there from Hernandez. Beautifully done. And good by Eddie coming back. Hernandez stayed there, kept himself there, and Eddie came back and, and hit him a couple times. I like the way that Eddie Cisneros keeps that left hand up high. And I like the pressure that I'm seeing out of Juan Hernandez. Nice body oh. shot again. I think it was a slip there. Yeah, that's what it looked to me as well. Oh, and that was the end of the first round, okay. Round one in the books. Yeah, I'd love to see Hernandez continue that body attack. Keep going to that body. Uh, I think he's starting to find his groove a little bit. And I'd like to see him keep him on that body attack. It seemed like Eddie Cisneros was looking to load up on the big headshot with the right hand. And uh, interesting to see how that fight kind of progresses. I'm curious if, if there's going to be a little bit more reach being used by Hernandez, utilize that jab like he did a little bit earlier, and keep going to the body to set up that big headshot that he that he likes to, to look for. Yeah, and it looked it looked to me that I seen Hernandez kind of calm down and find yeah. a little rhythm in that into that round. Yep. We'll see if he can bring that into this second round. 
Second round, touch of gloves, here we go. Nice, right back to the body. Yep. And, and I think that there, I tell you that jab is really effective for Hernandez. Yeah, it is. He needs to stay on that for sure. And I think for Eddie Cisneros, I think what he can do too is he can dig that right hand to the body and follow it up to that left hook to the head. Yeah, we haven't seen Eddie go to the body at all yet. Now we're starting to see these guys slow down a little bit, looking to clinch more. Fatigue could be setting in a little bit here. Yeah, I think both of them can use a little more trickery. Yes. You know? They're walking straight forward, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm trying to kind of throw every punch the same power. You know? If they blend in some of their speed with power or just wait to load up on shots. Oh, big right hand lands for Hernandez and another big right hand lands for Cisneros in retaliation. And these guys have the crowd on its feet. Yeah, Eddie's took a hard shot, went in. He, he looks like he wants that style of brawl. He's welcoming. He says, bring that brawl. Um, it'd be nice to see Hernandez go back to that jab and the body attack. Just like that. He looks like he's tiring a bit, willing to stay in after he lands some punches. Yeah. Eddie might be the little fresher fighter here. I like the way that Eddie Cisneros is covering up when Hernandez is coming in and he lands a nice inside combination, Cisneros does. And that ought to be the end of the second round. I think Hernandez right at the end of the bell there landed a good left hook that looked good. Neither one of them is really taking anything off. They're both looking pretty good, kind of even rounds. I think it really comes down to who's fresher in this third round. Very difficult fight to score again. <laughs> I mean, that's been the theme of tonight. Hernandez is definitely looking tired in his corner. Yeah, he is. He's, he's west and heavy on the ropes. Deep Leaning breaths. Back. Eddie looks a little more calm. See where his, I think a lot of times in these heavyweight fights, you go into that third round, it comes down to conditioning. Yeah, it does. All right, third and final round. Both these guys hug it out. Touch of gloves, sportsmanship galore. And I think that was a slip. Yep. Maybe a little buckle of the knee right there for Hernandez. Good attack to the body. You've referenced that all night, Sam. Yeah, did a good job of getting that right hand there. Referee Curtis Thrasher breaking up the big guys here in this third and final round. And now we're starting to see Hernandez put some shots together. And I feel that, I feel that Eddie Cisneros is playing a dangerous game with reaching out like that to try to stop the punches. I think he's just got to keep the hands high, the defense high, and let that be the defense because he's leaving his chin wide open. Yeah, and like you referenced earlier, uh, technique goes down yes. the more fatigued you get yes and I think that's what you're seeing a little bit in Eddie is that he's getting a little more fatigued in his uh, overall techniques dropping a little bit but he's they're both going for it they're both still in there trying to win this fight definitely no quit in either of these guys both of these guys have thrown some heavy shots at each other both these guys have caught each other with some heavy shots yeah and we're getting into that last 30 seconds let's see who can do this blitz I'd like to see them both put it all out there and a beautiful body attack right there from Hernandez lands hard as he's and he, again and he's really landing those body attacks very very effectively and very well. You've talked about that all night. Yeah, I think it's really underdone overall in boxing, kickboxing, and MMA. 
I mean, it's the biggest target. Yes. And there uh. it is. Good fight for the super heavyweights. Curious to see how this one shakes out. Judges have their hands full yet again, Sam. Yeah, they definitely do. Very close. I tell you, I would not want to be a judge tonight. These fights have been close. Yeah, and you know, I like to see a close fight. Me too. It, it's Me too. nice to see the skills that they bring. It's also nice to see that uh, both fighters have equal opportunities. I agree with you. You know, sometimes you see landslides and you wonder if uh, that, that was kind of a setup. If they both have the same opportunity coming into that fight, we haven't seen that at all tonight. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely not an easy job tonight from these uh, judges. I tell you, Sam, the ladies behind us in the cage have this place on its feet. You know, we've seen that earlier tonight. Them ladies bring it. <laughs> and uh, their skills are getting so competitive. Um, and like you said, they need, you need, very rarely do you see a woman quit in there. You're seeing these, these women are just so tough and determined coming in there, putting on great performances. And I'll tell you, both of these girls that are fighting behind us come from outstanding camps. Both of these girls have shown unbelievable toughness in the past. Clearly a very, very close fight going on between, or between them in the back here. And uh, we've got to try to do our best to keep focused on the boxing side. <laughs> yeah, there's so much action going on. Love it, though. The fans all around look like they're loving it. Yeah. It's great to look up into a full crowd, especially at the Pepsi Center. That's something, How to, awesome. something to behold, huh? All right, Sam, million-dollar question again. How do you have it? Unofficially. Unofficially, I'm going to go with Hernandez. I think he landed more shots. I think those body shots that he landed added up. That. Um, I kind of seen him taking the advantage in the first and third round. I could not agree more. I saw the exact same fight. I feel that the, uh, the, the better shots were landed by Hernandez. The cleaner shots were landed by Hernandez. And, and not just that, I think that he established a pattern by going to that body consistently throughout the fight. Yeah. Let's go ahead and kick it up to Sean for the official announcement. Okay, Sam. Called it right on the money. 50 seconds. Yeah. Hug, hug and go. Good work for him. You know, he looked like he was tired, but he didn't give up. He went out there and kept in the third round. I think that was a big deciding factor. Hi, I'm Kirk Johnson, a U.S. Army veteran and owner of Energy Star Exteriors. Call us today for all your home or business exterior needs and a free professional inspection or quote. 303-458-4500.